to today's show, this warrants serious attention. Because this is something that could go way, way deeper than just what the headline reads. And that is that Donald Trump is recognizing Jerusalem as Israel's capital. Now, it's very difficult to do any videos discussing Israel because of the censorship and the risk you take when you talk about it. But this needs to be addressed because this right here and what is going on and what Trump plans on building, this very well with the friction between the Palestinians and the Israelites, or the Israelis, I should say, the people living over there, could very lead, very well lead to some type of war, which one way or the other could lead to the Third Temple being built. Now, as most of us know, who are Christian, the Third Temple still has to be erected, thus letting us know that it's the beginning of the tribulation. Now, let's read through this article and then talk about Bible prophecy. Again, I'm not a minister. I'm not qualified to teach. Uh, and, you know, I fully am someone who does believe in what the Bible says about being a teacher. But I am a Christian, a devout follower of Jesus Christ, whether anyone wants to believe it or not. I know the Bible well, well either, whether anybody wants to believe that or not. But I think we should all look at some of these things that what, or at least is what Bible prophecy tells us is to happen in connection with this. Now, this is only speculation, but it's something you should pay attention to, right? And we see people predicting uh, the revelation, uh, uh, excuse me, not revelation, predicting the rapture, and predicting, predicting all this stuff, looking for dates. Nobody ever talks about the third temple. Nobody talks about some of this stuff that's supposed to go on. You don't have to predict when it's going to happen or the date it's going to happen, but you should be aware, right? The Bible tells us to be aware of things, to see the signs of the times. There's a reason that God tells us this stuff so we can be aware and ready, use our discernment, have our eyes open. So Trump recognized Jerusalem as Israel's capital on Wednesday and announced plans to relocate the U.S. Embassy to Jerusalem a move expected to inflame tensions in the region and unsettle the prospects for peace. Now, we don't know where in Jerusalem yet he's planning on putting the U.S. Embassy. So one could think, could the U.S. Embassy really in hiding be the Third Temple? Or, or the tensions that are going to come from this, because they're already saying that People over there are talking about rage, wage, you know, war is going to go down in the next few days or some types of attacks are going to go down and things are going to get chaotic over there. Now, remember, Israel always has to play the part of the victim. That is part of how the synagogue of Satan is operating with the hijacking of Israel to get the sympathy of people to be behind them, to trust in them, to want to help them, to believe that Israel, this strip of land, which is owned by the Rothschilds which they got in a treaty, which is filled with a lot of fake Jews, that this, or I should say these people are the chosen one, that these are God's people, is part of the deception that goes on in today's world. Now remember, if some type of war was to go down, and say they came out and they talked about a large number of people being killed and we needed to do something to honor Israel again or something like that, that could also lead to the building of the Third Temple. But this U.S. Embassy could very well be it in hiding, right? John tells us in Revelation that we are to measure it, which is a way of telling us to assess its spiritual condition, to see what this place is once it's built. Now, those of us who have eyes to see, and I know people go, who cares about seeing these satanic symbols and all that stuff? Well, when something like this is erected, they can call it the Third Temple. They can call it the U.S. Embassy. They can call it the U.N. I mean, who knows what, you know. It, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be called the Third Temple, but maybe they'll have a different name for it as a way of deflecting or a way of trying to confuse people. But this temple or this embassy or whatever it's going to be is going to be filled with satanic imagery. The stuff that I expose that many people expose. Statues, you know, you'll see, you know, Pan, you'll see Baphomet, you'll see stuff like that hidden in the architecture. That's why it's important to see that stuff, right? And you can realize what it really is. That's why, you know, people go to the Vatican, people who are asleep and think that, you know, that we're all associated with the Vatican if we believe in Jesus, 
right? None of them understand any of this stuff. And all you got to do is look at the architecture around the Vatican and see all the satanic demonic stuff, right? We always hear about the Sistine Chapel. Well, if you look up at some of the stuff in the roof, you can see some of the satanic imagery. So it's important to know that. So let's read a little bit more about Trump and what's going on here. So today we finally acknowledge the obvious that Jerusalem is Israel's capital. This is nothing more or less than a recognition of reality. It is also the right thing to do, Trump said from the White House diplomatic rec reception room. After more than two decades of waivers, we are no closer to a lasting peace agreement between Israel and the Palestinians. It would be total, uh, excuse me, it would be a folly to assume that repeating the exact same formula would now produce a different or better result. Trump's decision upended seven decades of U.S. foreign policy that has resisted a recognition of Jerusalem as Israel's capital before the Israeli-Palestinian conflict is resolved. Trump said, today I am delivering, referencing the campaign promise. And again, there's people out there that think Trump isn't bought and paid for by Israel, you know, that he's not one of them, which is amazing to me how much stuff he's already done for Israel a year in, but... Acknowledging the concerns he fielded a day earlier from regional Arab leaders, Trump underscored his decision by reaffirming the United States' commitment to helping Israelis and Palestinians reach a peace agreement. He also stressed that his announcement did not mark a shift in U.S. policy on the final boundaries of future Israeli and Palestinian states. We are not taking a position on any of the final status issues, including the final boundaries of the Israeli sovereignty in Jerusalem. Trump's announcement was warmly received by Israeli Prime Minister, who seized on the opportunity to call on other countries to join the U.S. in recognizing Jerusalem as Israel's capital. The president's decision is an important step towards peace, for there is no peace that doesn't include Jerusalem as the capital of the state of Israel. Now remember, the Antichrist comes in the name of peace. All of this stuff is prophesized. All of this stuff is going to occur. I'm not saying that this is definitely what's going on. I'm not saying that uh, this is the third temple being built. I'm saying just look at some of this stuff. Keep an eye on it. Because the Bible isn't telling us, you're not going to have a clue. You're not going to know when. You're not going to know where and all this stuff. We don't know the day or the hour of Christ's return, but we know the time period. You know, We're going to be able to see the tribulation at hand. And most of us already believe we're in the end times. I mean, all you got to do is look around. And some of the stuff going on. We got robots getting rights. We got AI gods. I mean, you can't even make this stuff up. Now, the ramifications of Trump's decision reverberated immediately through Israel, the West Bank, and the Middle East. Through senior administration officials have acknowledged it will take years for the U.S. to build the new, U the new embassy in Jerusalem. So they're building this embassy in Jerusalem. Trump ordered the State Department Wednesday to begin preparations to move the embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem, noting his directive would allow the State Department to begin hiring architects and building contractors to build an embassy he said will be a magnificent tribute to peace. So that's something to keep in mind, a magnificent tribute to peace. Now, why is that important? Well, we know the Antichrist is coming in peace, right? The third temple is going to exist during the Great Tribulation. Daniel talks about it when he says the prince who is to come will enter it and stop the sacrifices in the middle of the Tribulation. The Apostle Paul mentions it when he declares that the man of lawlessness will profane the temple by entering it and declaring himself to be God. The third temple, like I said earlier, you, you can also find in Revelation where John says or is told to measure it, which is a way of telling us to assess the spiritual condition of this third temple. Now, this is all stuff that should get people concerned because now, on top of this, on top of them building this, on top of them saying that this is going to be a symbol and a tribute of peace, again, not knowing the exact location in Jerusalem yet, which is a factor, we need to know exactly where it's going to go. This could go up. This could be destroyed or this pending potential war that could go down could lead to them erecting this third temple, right, as a tribute. So we'll see how this plays out. But they're saying people are divided on it. The impending announcement sent U.S. allies and U.S. officials in the region scurrying to brace for protests and the potential for violence as a result of the announcement, Palestinian factions called for three days of rage in response to the announcement, and U.S. officials issued 
security warnings to the West Bank and the old city of Jerusalem. So there's stuff is going to go down as a result of this. It's not like this huge story that's out there. But for those of us who believe in Bible prophecy, which is pretty much everybody who follows my channel, this is very, very uh, important to monitor. Use your discernment and see what's going on here. Right? Because remember, this third temple still has to be erected in the time of tribulation. Are we in that time period? Look, we're getting close to it, I would say, in my opinion. All you got to do is look at all the nonsense going on. Now, that's just my opinion on it. I'm not preaching that that's the you know 100% truth, but from using my discernment and looking at the way the world's going with artificial intelligence, transhumanism, uh, the do without will mindset, the no longer having genders, all of this stuff that is really really ramped up in the last even the last year or two, it's gotten insane. Because five ten years ago, you know, knowing most of this stuff going on was one thing, but seeing it all going down and then watching everyone accept it is another thing. So. Jerusalem now the capital. Trump is going to be building a magnificent U.S. embassy or embassy over in Jerusalem that is going to stand for peace. So you tell me what that means to you. I mean, hey, listen, it's my channel. I give my opinion on it. I'm interested in seeing, in seeing what everyone else's is. So comment in the, section, the comment section below. There's many good Christians who follow this channel. Uh, who have just as good a discernment. I'm interested to see what you think about it. Other ministers out there, I'm interested to see what they think about it. This is something that when I read this, I immediately started thinking uh, about that, about the third temple. Um, it, it rang some warning signs with me. I could be wrong on that, but uh, I definitely am interested in people's opinions on it. So let me know. I thank you for listening to today's show. God bless all of you and your families.